This video chart presentation, Aspen BioInc. It's a NASDAQ listed stock trading our ticker APPY. After a pretty strong slide in 2013, the stock seemed to found a base around $1.15. A little bit of a double bottom type look, slightly higher low. Now it's pushed back above the 50 day moving average. Went up to that new two month high at $1.62. And after consolidating, the stock rose again on Friday, up almost 5%. 730,000 shares traded. That's not bad liquidity. And because of that move, it's holding above a support level at $1.40. I think it's worth paying attention to now to see if it's going to continue to press on and try and make some new highs. Got a real nice bullish look in the MACD. Strong uptrend. Broken through zero. Holding above that level. Showing a bullish trend. Coming off a of PPO ADX pinch. Of course, PPO trends back towards zero. Again, that's bullish. Let me see the ADX. Also starting to make some higher lows. And holding above 20, showing that the strength of the direction is increasing. Sharp move in the 7 MFI with the move Friday. Made a nice little bounce, reverse course. I reference that in a lot of videos. When I see a big separation, like through here, I look for that 7 to make a move and come back, get closer to the 14 and 21. And that appears what's going to happen again this time. Ideally, I like to see all three components trending above 50, show people are paying higher prices for the stock. This is a nice look at the accumulation distribution as well. Nice upward trend. Call it a channel, if you will. But again, point being, higher lows, higher highs. There's more buying than selling going on in this stock. And that view is reinforced by this shake of money flow holding in the green, saying that over 20 period increments, buying pressures outweighed selling pressure. CCI traders will be looking for that break of 100 as a technical buy point. And it's notable at the full still looks like it's going to try and hold over top of 50 to show that bullish momentum is being sustained in the play. The tricks, gauge a trend like the MACD, kind of use the same benchmarks. Uptrending shows a bullish trend. Holding over top of zero shows a much stronger bullish trend. Relative strength index. Again, I always want to see it holding over top of 50 to show that the bulls are in charge of momentum. See down through here, trending below 50. Stock price was having a difficult time showing any real upward pressure. Little bounces here and there where the 7 actually sprung through 50. Then back down below it, the 14 and 21, they spent virtually no time above 50. So even with some little moves here and there, the bears are basically in charge of momentum. Now though, with this recent move, the bulls are back in charge. So I want to see it holding over top of that 50 mark. Now, as I mentioned, there is a bottom support down here, $1.15. Could even say it runs all the way up to about $1.20. But what I'm going to be looking for in this near term is holding above $1.40. That was an area of resistance coming off of this bottom. The 50-day moving average is registering $1.34. And I want to see that price per share holding above that 50-day. Because I want to see the 50-day start moving upward and start climbing towards a golden cross breaking through the 200-day. That's a long ways away. This is just the baby steps leading into it. And for me, holding that support at $1.40 is going to be pretty important in the upward progression of this chart. Now, from a resistance standpoint, certainly the old high there at $1.62. And I'd see it picking up a little bit more if it can reach up near $1.70. And I'd even go so far as if it does make the strong move to say it's going to meet a heavy resistance right up there around $1.95. Now, again, that's well down the road. That's a pretty sizable move from the $1.49 closing price on Friday. But what I'm looking for in the APPY chart is to see if this is going to be identified as a true bottom and the upward trend is going to continue from there going forward. It's got all the signs of it right now, strong indications of trend and momentum. So I'll keep an eye on at the beginning part of this week and see how it reacts to making a move off that new support level. Those are the things that I'd be looking for in the APPY chart. But as always, merely my interpretation. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.